So Marvel made something really awesome recently. It's a really cool Spider-Man plushie. It's very high detail, it's about a foot tall, it's got some pretty good logo work. It's a very, very nice Ditko classic suit. But the coolest feature of this plush is that he can take his mask off and he can pose. It was only about $30. I got it on Amazon and I started thinking to myself, why aren't there more of these? Like, I feel like this is a cool enough concept to justify having more than one version of these plushies made. So today, once again, I'm doing Marvel's job for them. I'm gonna make an entire series of plushie designs that they could make to coincide with this little guy. Stick around until the end of the video to find out how you can have your own plushie design featured in the next installment of this series. But before we get into the plushie designs of this video, let me at least give credit where credit is due. This idea came from Bizabow's FNAF Redesign Plush series. These videos are essentially the same thing we're doing today, so be sure to give her the credit she deserves. Now that the credit is out of the way, let's make a design for the only real plushie we have for us today. Boom! There we go. The original has been remade in digital form, so now that you guys can have a reference for what these designs will look like throughout the rest of the video. Now let's get some quick info bits out of the way. These weird lines that are present throughout the plush represent embroidery lines, and any other weird lines on the plush are supposed to be seams. Yeah, I don't want to hear anything about their buttocies in the comments. Since the first plush is made out of printed fabric, I don't really have any qualms about making the plushies too super detailed, but I think I want to simplify the designs to make them more plushy-like. Now let's finally get to making these plushies. Alright, so here's one of my favorites, the Miles Morales plush. He's obviously based off of his Into the Spider-Verse appearance, mostly because that costume is my favorite version of his suit. He's shaded dark blue as opposed to completely black, because I thought that a dark blue would make him stand out much more, and I think the blue is just dark enough to be mistaken for black. The logos on the front and back are embroidered, and same for the eyes. I'm not sure if I did the best job recreating the lenses, but I did take a couple of liberties with the coloring and logo work already, seeing as the logos aren't complete one-to-one -one recreations of the movie logos, but I feel like I kinda like it better that way. It makes it feel more genuine by not just slapping the movie emblem on it and calling it a day. And of course, the mask comes off to reveal Miles' face. I tried my hardest to take the features from his face and put them onto the plush, like his nose. Of course he lacks his signature big hair, but I had to give him the cut so his hair wouldn't make the mask look funny. Don't worry, I've created a workaround to give characters much more detailed hair that you'll see later. I almost forgot to mention, uh, I'm giving some of these plushies alternative outfits. This is only something I'll do if I deem it appropriate. I won't do it for every plush, but since it's appropriate for Miles, I gave him a streetwear outfit. I imagine that this would be an accessory that comes with the original. Like in a box or something, as opposed to having it sewn onto the plushie and sold separately from the original. See, we're doing this my way, which means no capitalism technique. I will not be selling this plush as a separate thing, even if it would make more money. Everyone who bought a Miles gets his clothes too. And if I'm doing Marvel's job for them, I'm gonna do it my way. Let's cover a Peter variant next. On this Raimi Spider-Man plush, I considered giving it embroidered webbing so that it would look shiny, but I imagine that I'd be working those imaginary sweatshop workers to death with these imaginary plushes if that was the case, but since it's imaginary, just imagine that it's embroidered. I actually don't enjoy this version I made, it's too orange. I'm gonna recolor it real quick. As usual, the eyes and emblems are all embroidered, and the emblems are remade as accurately as possible. You really could print the brick texture on this suit if you wanted to, like with the TASM 2 plush I showed you guys in that recent video, but it just simply slipped my mind while designing this Raimi one. I made sure to give him this webby palms, and that's pretty much all I have to say about this plush. But I bet some of you are excited for more movie Spider-Man now that you've picked up the scent. Maybe he's gonna show a show an Andrew Garfield or a MCU Spider-Man plush design. But guess what? You guys are gonna have to wait until part two, which I'm definitely gonna do if this video does well. Which means, you boys, girls, and NBs better start coughing up those likes. And since you've already watched this video for this long, you should subscribe too. Thank you. Oh, and here's his face. Alright, let's get to another plush. The PS4 Advanced Suit was a plush I didn't actually think to try making until my friend Michael suggested it to me. I wanted to capture most elements of the costume, like its gross orangey red and its washed out blues. I'm not letting you pretend that this costume has good colors. Here was my attempt. I kind of fucked up on the belt. I wanted to make a stronger border here implying a partition, like on the real PS4 suit, but of course it just looks like the normal classic belt, so I'm going to fix it real quick. A lot of elements on this costume had to be outright omitted or outright simplified, sort of like a reverse MCU effect. I'm changing these costumes to be simpler. The palm pads have been made into dark red squares, 
and the white gauntlets were changed to fit on a four-fingered hand. And I've also taken the usual route of all the emblems and eyes being embroidered, of course. All the white sections can be embroidered too, but, you know, imaginary sweatshop. Here's the plush with the mask off. The face is based off of the newer one, not because I like that one any more than the old one. I actually prefer the old one. I was just too lazy to find a picture. Plus, I didn't really want the plush to be outdated. I'm trying my hardest to be on my best behavior during this video. So if Marvel actually takes this idea, just ignore all my other videos. I promise anything bad I say about you is clickbait, it's all in the title and thumbnail. And if, if, if you make these plushies, please pay me, or, 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 at least send me free plushies to my house. My address is... Alright, so this next plush has three recolors, and if you wouldn't believe it, this isn't the only costume in this video that has over three recolors. The 2099 suit here is... Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, alright, 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 there's a black version too, there's a black version, just hold on. Damn. Here's the 2099 suit, of course, in its modern blue variation. I made the red slightly pink to make it more neon, therefore more futuristic. I also tried to use a darker blue to highlight the red more. I would like for all the red to be embroidered, but you know, American product outsourcing, made in China, child labor. Here's the maskless version. I wanted to make sure he looks like his comic counterpart, so I gave him this reddish purple shaded hair like he has in a lot of those panels. And I also made sure to darken his skin a bit to undo the whitewashing that's usually done to this character. Of course, here's the black version you wanted, but you know what? I don't even think people like the black version that much. Like, I know there was a whole debate on it spun by the YouTuber I stole my entire personality from or whatever, but I don't remember any of it. I just don't think it looks as good in black. I think the only reason people talk about the black one is because it's comic accurate. It doesn't even look as interesting as the blue one. I'm just not really a fan of it. Plus, I think having it be a blue costume makes it parallel Peter's costume more. Plus, it doesn't even look fully black in the comics. I just think having it look black is a bigger departure from the comic than having it blue. But whatever, here's your black slash blue slash black slash blue comic shader variant, with a more orangish red to match the comic version. The shading on this will be done by printing black ink onto certain parts of the body, giving it the illusion of actual shading. Like, uh, like one of those comic shaded Zentai suits. Let's not forget that little cape, though. I wanted to make it yellow so that the costume had a nice primary colors only color palette. Plus it's a cute little reference to that Spider-Man Unlimited show's cape. If you guys want to see me make that plush, let me know in the comments along with any other suits you want to see made. That's right. You guys have to put in work. You guys have to make this video do well by, by sending me your likes and your subscriptions because I'm using you just like plushie manufacturer use. Uh, children in sweatshop. Alright, so here's Ultimate Spider-Man. There ain't much to him, he's got fully embroidered eyes and logos, comic shading on his blue sections, and that signature bright orange red and bright blue color palette. Honestly, I think having an orange Spider-Man outfit is so much more tolerable when the blue is super bright. Every other color combo with orange just looks kind of wrong to me. I wanted to emulate the art style of Mark Bagley's Spider-Man as much as possible. I wanted to make him feel like he popped right out of the page. This was done by including the aforementioned colors, the shading, and some of the more forgotten elements of his art. Like those weird lines he would draw on his lenses sometimes. And of course here's the face. Gasp, oh my god, Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost, look he has bangs! This would be done with small strips of a thicker, less malleable fabric that would be glued onto the face. I wanted to make these strips as small as possible so that there wouldn't be an impression from under the mask. I also made sure to make him as angry as possible, because he's currently thinking about how Marvel made Ultimate Wolverine into a PDF file by having him try to fuck Mary Jane while mind swapped with Peter. All right, so here's the Scarlet Spider. I'm really happy about how this one turned out. I've sacrificed the back view of the plush to show off a super cool function, the hood. The hood flips up on the plush so he can wear it. He's got all kinds of cool accessories on him, hopefully made out of that same durable fabric I mentioned for the hair flaps. This same durable fabric will then be printed over to create all the details on screen. And the little hoodie. I wanted it to have a sharper flare to it, to contrast the rounder plushie. I did that by adding some sharper edges to the sleeves and such. And it also has hoodie strings. And of course, here's the maskless face. He's got longer hair flaps and that signature Ben Riley hobo look. His face is literally just a carbon copy of Peter's face, but dumped in hobo juice. And of course, here's the comic shader version. The hoodie is a darker blue, and the red is shaded in dark red. And for all of those wondering and waiting, here it is, the black suit. This costume has four recolors. I didn't really mean to give it so much, 
but at this point I couldn't really stop myself. This is the classic black suit. It's more of a navy blue, but like the Miles plush. I think it's dark enough to not be too jarring. I want all the white elements on this suit to be completely embroidered, but only if the pay for child laborers making this is raised. Not like child laborers as in like people who hire child labor, but the the actual ch pay the children, damn it. I also forgot to add white patches onto the hands, so just imagine they're there because, you know, I already got my two my two free redesign in the middle of the video tokens. I already used both of them, so I can't I can't do it again, guys. The power's out of my hands. I can't redesign it mid-video again. Here's the face of the plush. I wanted to give him a bit of facial hair because I remember him having it during some of the few black suit era comics I have. He's also got symbiote tendrils around the neck area. I would also make the mask detachable to give it the full illusion that it just dissipates away into the costume, but I feel like that would make the mask so much easier to lose, so attached it will stay. Here's a purple variant because I love a good purple symbiote and a comic shaded version to go along with it. Due to the lack of hand patches, this would go well with your Ultimate Spider-Man plush, since it looks like the Ultimate Black Suit. And here's a bright blue shaded version of it. No particular reason why, it doesn't even look like the comic version, where the comic version looks that kind of blue. This one just looks straight up blue. Next up, here's the... Oh. This one is... This one's just blank. Well, I guess here's the template for you guys to send in the plush designs. Here's a plush my friend Trey Gons made of my pal Justice Sketches' a spider pan suit using my template. To submit your plush, be sure to send it to submissionspsm at gmail.com, and I'll be picking three of my favorite plushies and putting them in part two. Just make sure you like and subscribe, or part two will never be made, ever. Or whatever. Anyway, here's the lineup for this video. I really enjoyed making these, and I hope Marvel actually listens to me. Even if it's just this once. Marvel, please send me these. Please, please, please send me these if you make them. I will give you my home address. Just please pay. Hello, it's me, PSM again. Uh, I'm recording this video before I go to college. I, I woke up maybe about an hour ago, so it's kind of why I'm so low energy in this video, but I kind of like it, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, and of course, be sure to submit your plushies to the submissions email. And yes, this is the same email you guys sent your suits to last week. I'll be picking three of the ones I really like, and I'll be putting them in the video. Uh, I won't really be, like, critiquing them. I'll just be showing them off, because I like them. But, of course, I haven't seen them yet, so just be sure to send them to the email. I love you all. Thank you all so much for watching. And I, of course, will see you guys 